Hey there, welcome back to the Intentional Apostolic Podcast. This is Elissa Hornbeck, your host. And today, instead of going in depth on some hyper specific topic, I just want to share my heart behind why I started this podcast in the first place because when we know what our purpose or the reason for doing something is, purpose is both the driver and the motivator for us to accomplish that thing in addition to providing the boundaries in which whatever that is is confined within. So it's both the driver and the safekeeper. So the reason behind why I started this podcast originally is because I saw it within my own generation and the generation below me, especially with young women, this lack of resources and lack of content for if you felt a call to the ministry or call to leadership or call to the kingdom of God. And I realize that's a very large blanket topic and area, and there are so many subtopics and subcategories within that. And we've definitely addressed some of those in previous episodes and by the help of the Lord we're going to continue to keep addressing topics and keep dealing with things in the future but within that just lack of content and resources within you know even our apostolic movement yes there are some amazing resources and platforms and stuff out there And definitely within the last year or two, I've seen new ones pop up, but there's definitely not enough yet. Yes, like, if you feel a call specifically for preaching, you know, there's books and podcasts and different things out there that you can listen to, but the majority of those are more geared towards guys, not girls. And while some of the principles and stuff definitely apply across the board, you know, you're sharing the word of God you're preaching to lost people, there are definitely a lot of nuances and behaviors and other things that are more specific to women that we need to be talking about, we need to be addressing. And not only do we need to be addressing, but we need to be holding in tandem the voices of our elders. That way it's not just our perspective and our opinion, but it's founded in truth and it's founded in doing things right. And, you know, with that lack of resources, I also see this kind of disconnect. So we have this new generation of young apostolics coming into the kingdom of God and these young ladies, and they're so hungry to be used and for God to do things through them. But whether it's because they don't have family in church or maybe it's a small church and they don't really have examples that are readily available to them. And especially in the cases where maybe they're first generation Pentecostal, you know, they don't have the history to pull on or they don't even know where to go look for these godly examples of women who have exemplified what it is to be a apostolic female minister of God, you know, what should that even look like? You know, what are the standards? How do you go about that? You know, what's okay? What's not okay? What's crossing the line? What's, you know, somebody's personality quirk versus a method or a principle that I should be embodying in my own ministry? There's so much that needs to be addressed. And, you know, God tells us in his word that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And so even if I'm just one small voice that helps and impacts one young lady, that's enough because we need bold voices. We need voices that are not afraid to stand up and speak truth. And not on this episode, but Lord willing, sometime soon, I will be doing a episode on, you know, can women preach, you know, according to the Bible? What about, you know, 1 Timothy 2.12 or other verses and, you know, 
how do we hold that in tandem with the rest of the Bible? And, like, that's a huge topic that can be a big sore spot for some people. So it's definitely getting its own episode. But I really believe that sharing the heart behind why I started podcasting in the first place will help you understand the motivation and the drive behind the content that I make. And it also helps you understand why I may choose to not address certain topics or choose to hold off on certain topics um, or choose not to share certain things about myself. You know, I could tell you that I absolutely love coffee, but does that really edify you? Does that really serve the purpose And the reason why I started podcasting? Not really. The purpose is to, you know, one, equip the young people that, especially young ladies that feel a call to the ministry, and then two, to amplify the voices of our elders to give a connection to our history and examples of, you know, how things were done in Old Pentecost. Because here's the deal. We as young people, and I'm including myself in this, you know, we have access to technology. We know how to do all the newfangled fun things, social media, media, technology. You know, there's so many things. And But as much as we're equipped and we know how to use all these things, that does not erase the necessity of us learning how to pray, learning the principles of God's word, learning the truths that never change. Yes, sometimes the methods of sharing the gospel or the platforms that we use change, but the principles and the fundamentals, those never change, no matter how smart or young or um, educated you think you are. Like, you're never going to get away from that And as soon as you're able to recognize that you need the voices of your elders in your life, the far better you're going to be off because you're going to allow those people that are your spiritual authorities to check you and to speak into your life and to correct you. That way, once you're in a place of authority and position to where you have a platform and a voice that you're not going to be affected by being pulled a million different directions because you've had the truth and the correction to build those boundaries and build that understanding within you. Because here's the deal. Once you build truth within yourself and you study things out in the Word of God for yourself and God gives you revelation, then no person's opinion, no perspective on the internet... No lie from the enemy can rob the truth that God birthed within you. So, regardless, you know, yes, you need a pastor in your life. You need someone in a place of authority over you to check you. And yes, you need to be listening to resources that help you understand the Word of God and give you perspective. But until you're grounded... You need to be careful of the voices that you allow to influence you and allow to speak truth into your life because if you allow false doctrine or false perspectives to take a root in you, sometimes it can take years to uproot the lies and the seeds that a misstep or a false voice planted in your life. I just want to insert this really quick that You don't need to use curiosity as an excuse to open yourself up to something that you shouldn't. Curiosity is not an excuse to go around opening yourself up and bringing things into your life and into your mind that should not be there. So while you're still in that development process, I would admonish you to really be intentional about the voices and the influences that you allow to speak into your life while you're in that development process of becoming a woman in ministry. You know, the podcast name that I chose is Intentional Apostolic to intentionally, to on purpose, 
you know, do things, not just willy-nilly go about stuff, but to be intentional, to be on purpose for why you're doing things. And when it comes to something so critical as ministry to serve others, we need to be intentional about why we're doing it. What is the purpose? What is the reason behind why we're serving these people? Are we serving them because we want a platform or we want the recognition or are we serving them because we truly want to bless the kingdom and we want to see lives saved and souls saved and people's lives transformed and the kingdom of God to be impacted. Your reason, your intentionality behind why you're doing what you're doing is so critical. I, I just can't get away from it. It's so critical for you to know what's driving you and if you truly have a call of God on your life, then, you know, he's going to give you the purpose and the reason behind it. But you've got to be careful, like I said earlier, not to let that purpose and that reason to be tainted by voices and influences that would derail your purpose and your reason and your foundation for the ministry and what God would have you to do in his kingdom. So if you get nothing out of what I said other than this, be intentional about the voices and the reason why you're going into ministry. You, you've got to be so careful. It's, I, I can't get away from how critical this is. You have to be so careful about why you're doing it and who's influencing you to do it. Until next time, stay intentional, friends.